Standard Chronicle Breaking News. Welcome to Mobster Chronicles. Joey Merlino, the alleged former boss of the Philadelphia mob, is not only a man who has never cooperated, he's a man of his word. We're going to do the red of the month. Okay. So all we right. get all the stuff. I want to be the voice for the good guys. And I'm going to, I'm going to do episodes. I, I mean, if I, if I, I was going to do rat it, I could do rat it a day. There's, I could do 7 million episodes. <laughs> yeah. But it's, I have to get all the paperwork. I'm not doing nothing without everything backed up. I, got all, I have all my paperwork, I'm getting, my lawyers, got, it's everything in storage. I'm going to have the FBI 302s, I'm going to have the tapes, their tapes, mm -hmm. of everything, and then I'm going to do an episode a month about, we'll do the rat of the month, we'll start with Something that. Something like that. Like, speaking up for the good guys. Absolutely. They need a voice. There's a lot of people in jail that are innocent, believe me, yeah. innocent. When the time comes, well, I'll, I'm going to show you how they're innocent. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's fucked up. He has been on YouTube for less than a month, and the rats are already getting nervous because even the most high-profile YouTube stool pigeons like Francis and that rat Gravano are both now kissing his ass and are even inviting him on their channels. A lot of people were asking about the Joey Molina podcast. How do you feel about that? Well, Joey Molina? I heard about it. I actually saw it the other day. I didn't know him well. I knew his father very well. He was the underboss on the Nicky Scarfo for a while. Um, he does have some street con credentials. He's a little bit of a tough guy. If he's anything like his father, he is a tough guy. And he's doing a show and not bothering anybody. He's going to do something about rats. I don't know whether it's in his case. Somebody ratted on him. I don't know the story. Um, but I don't think he's doing anything wrong. I think he's doing a great job. Matter of fact, um, if he ever wanted to come on my platform and talk with me and whatever, the, the, he's got an open invitation. But there is a guy that I'm going to speak about today, and I'm going to speak about him in a good way, only because he recently came on YouTube. Many of you who follow me know who he is. His name is Joey Molino. Nice guy, real deal, very well-respected guy, and a guy that I've respected from afar. Now, I don't know Joey. He came after me. Joey became, you know, more uh, prominent back in the 90s, really. And uh, he lives in Florida now, and uh, he's enjoying his life. He went through a lot of stuff, you know. But I recently watched his YouTube channel. He think people should tune in. I think you're going to like it. Joey's uh, a very well-spoken guy, and I think you're going to enjoy his YouTube channel. So he knows a lot, obviously, about sports. I don't know if he's going to talk about anything else. That's up to him. Uh, but, you know, welcome aboard, Joey. I hope you do well. And uh, maybe when I'm down in Florida, we'll get to say hello one day. Fat fucking chance that a stand-up guy like Joey Merlino ever appears on a rat's channel. Never going to happen and he's already called out rodents and snitches like former Bonanno family rats, Joe Messino. We have some good news for the good guys. Go ahead. Uh, fat lion Joe Messina, he's another lion rat, put all guys that went in jail because he didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. Uh, he died, uh, I think, a couple days ago. Really? So God don't like ugly. No. See, you hurt families, you hurt innocent people. That's what happens to you. Yeah. So we ain't going to miss him anyway. Dominic Sicali. <laughs> got all these... Lion rats, they got podcasts, shows, books, the media, they glorify him. They, there was a kid on the other day, Cali, Dominic Cali, I don't even know who the fuck he is. This other jerk off that was on the other day, Dominic. Chris Pacello. I was at a heat game, me and Wags and Donnie, like five years ago. And we had the floor seats. Yeah. So at halftime, we were going into uh, the Grey Goose Lounge to get a drink for, by, for halftime. So I'm walking. I don't know him. If yeah. he walked in here right now, I don't know who the fuck he is. Yeah. I'm walking, and a guy's waving at me. He was like, who the fuck's that? You know, I, don't, I, just, I didn't know who it was. Yeah, you're just waving. And Wag said, you know what that is? I said, no. He said, Chris Pacella. The fuck's he waving to me for, that rat mother, lying rat motherfucker? So I told him, fuck, I, fuck you. And we like just walked away. This guy set up a lady. He killed an innocent lady in front of her five-year-old daughter, and they're glorifying him as a tough guy. He's in Miami, he owns nightclubs, he's in California, he owns nightclubs. They got him down as a hero. What kind of tough guy is that? Yeah. An innocent lady? Yeah. I mean, it's a fucking joke. Gene Borello. This son of fucking idiot. Gino Borello, he was on last week. 
Now, somebody sent me a video. I didn't even watch it. Yeah. Talking about him. He's coming to Florida. What the fuck he said. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's a professional woman beater. Really? Yeah, professional. That's all they do. I got a whole list. That's all they do is beat women up. We wow. need the Me Too movement to get on him. He beat his ex-girlfriend up, threatened to kill her, killed the husband, chopped the door down, smashed her phone, threatened her, threatened her whole family. He says he's going to grab the father and beat him, beat the dog shit out of him. Then he gets locked up for it. And the little punk that he is, he got four, six months in jail. He made his mother come to court with him and cry to the judge, please don't send my son back to jail. Please, wow. please, please. Begged, begged. He was a real tough guy. He got his mother in court begging the judge. He would have made his mother go in and do the time if he could. That's what a punk he is. Wow. So he ain't even worth talking about. Yeah, he's starting but to he's a, with you. He, he's a woman beater too. Former Lucchese family member John Penisi. We got John Penisi. He's another guy who talked about me. Yeah. I met him one time. He beat his girlfriend up, Danielle Martelli. He knocked her teeth out of her mouth. All of them. Wow. Knocked her teeth out. Burned her with lit cigarettes. Ripped her hair out of her head. This all came out in court. Yeah. With my friend that owns, uh, he's the one that's helped me with the paperwork. Uh, we push back dot, dot com. Okay. D Dominic Crea, a lot of help. I got to give him a shout out. He yeah. really, he really helped me with all the paperwork. This, this fucking idiot. The judge. He admitted this, that he did this. The judge won't let it in. He said it's prejudice to the jury. How oh. could they even take him as a witness if they're doing this? I mean, yeah. Beat the shit out of a woman. I mean, it's crazy. And former Philadelphia Canary Phil Leonetti. Uh, Phil Leonetti, he wrote a book. Okay. I don't even know what the name is. I would, I would never read it. I would never buy it. They all got the same story. Yeah. Philip was never in jail. He got lucky. He always got out on bail. He beat every case. So he was Crazy Phil. He loved that name. They wrote about him every day. Crazy Phil Leonetti. They, he loved it. He gets locked up. Beats the case. He beat every case. If he would have beat the last case, he, he, he'd still be here. He'd still be Crazy Phil. Then he went to jail. As soon as he was by himself and lost the case... Then he found God and the, the government. Now he's not crazy full no more. He's scared shit full. Well, they do the same shit. They just lie. It's whatever benefits them yeah. to make well, money. So he's not crazy. Four. He's not crazy full no more. He's scared shit full. He's even called out rat enablers, truth fabricators, and sometime hypocrites who pose as journalists like Jerry Capisi, George Anastasia, Dave Schratweiser, and even our fellow Detroiter Scott Bernstein. Capisi puts in a paper, not a gangland, that mm -hmm. other gossip column where all the rats tell him everything. And all these Schratweiser, Capisi, all them, they glorify. They write books with these guys. They, yeah. it's, it's fucking, it's nuts. Uh, Phil Leonetti, he wrote a book. Okay. Okay. This other fucking piece of shit. All right. I don't even know what the name is. I would, I would never read it. I would never buy it. These self-professed mob experts' sole sources of information come from either Fed case files which contain biased and sometimes deliberately deceptive information provided by liars in the justice system, and duplicitous double-dealing scumbag informants, like these mutts, or rats and dry snitches still on the street. And we can't forget those YouTube channels that suck up to these rats, and give them a platform to continue to lie and change the narrative, so that they are the good guys now. All that bullshit is coming to an end now that Joey Merlino is stepping up. But a lot of people hate on this podcast. A, a, a lot of them are in the witness protection program. I'm going to expose them. Don't worry about it. It's coming, too, on the podcast. It's coming? Yeah, I'm going to expose the Justice Department and all the rats. All the rats. I'm going to go over my cases. As soon as I get all the paperwork, I'm coming for you. All Be right, ready. Good. All the rats, you're getting exposed. Yeah. I'm going to show you what the government, how the government treats them. Yeah. Gives them, lets them, they got a license to commit any crime they want. Do they get paid? Do they get paid? If I tell you what the rats on my case got paid, your fucking hero fall out. Really? Well, that's that's for another all time. Right, that's for another time. All right. But about, we're, we're coming after you. So you scared of rats? Fuck them. Nope. Yeah. Everything I say is the truth. And then we get, we got a list of woman beaters. Look at this list. So I'll, I'll come back and get uh, when we hear like other episodes when I do rat of the month. Yeah. We got seven hundred months to do them. <laughs> yeah. These Stand are all it. witnesses that that the government took. Yeah. This is what they do. They're all they beat women up, and then they say they're tough guys. I mean, how could they even use these people against people who testify? There's a guy who knocked the lady's teeth out of her mouth. Yeah, it's, that's burned her with cigarettes. Fucking fucking animal. Yeah, yeah, it's mental. I mean, it really, is. It's, You're right. it's fucked up. The, the fucking system's fucked up. Mobster Chronicles would like to welcome Joey Merlino to YouTube. Snitches, it's going to get very uncomfortable for you on YouTube now. 
a place that has been a safe haven for you until Joey from Philly decided to come to YouTube and set things straight. Please subscribe to Joey's YouTube channel The Skinny with Joey Merlino and Lil Snuff. The link is in the description section of this video, and help in the fight to combat the rat infestation here on YouTube. Thanks for watching.